A military looking boat is turning heads around Puget Sound. It's a high tech vessel surrounded by secrecy, except for what we can show you. King 5's Glenn Farley has a look on board the Piranha. You might get a glimpse of this a high tech vessel wrapped in a dazzle camouflage paint scheme. The Piranha is intended to be an unmanned surface vessel, the nautical equivalent of those robotic planes used by the government for surveillance and taking out terrorists. While the Piranha is intended to be unmanned, this prototype has a pilot for this part of its sea trials. Ready? Today, wearing a flight suit and a helmet, I get to ride. It's 54 feet long, built out of lightweight composite plastics, light enough to be launched from a large military cargo jet. The boat is built in Seattle by Ohio-based Zyvex Technology. It could be used as an escort vessel through pirate-infested waters or armed with missiles and torpedoes and sent into combat without risking the lives of crew members. Zyvex wants to sell it to the Navy and the Department of Homeland Security, where it could be used for patrols and search and rescue. The company is very guarded about sharing too much information. I can't show you inside, but it's very cool in here. There's actually a big gyroscope that keeps this boat very stable. There's turbo-powered diesel engines. This is even a hybrid. It can run on electricity. It stopped briefly at the Elliott Bay Marina, where it turned heads. Have you ever seen a boat come in like this? Never. It's got your attention, doesn't it? It does. I made a long walk to see it. I see many uh, interesting vessels, but by far this is uh, one of the coolest I've seen. And if Zyvex is correct, this could be the first of many. On Puget Sound, Glenn Farley, King 5 News. The company also has attracted the interest of other countries, all allies of the United States.